Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg at 501 and today I want to show you guys the build I'm going to be using for leveling up in New World. Now there's only three main things that really go into this leveling build. That is the weapons we're using, the builds for those weapons, and then our equipment load. And this build is incredibly strong for leveling and is going to be really good all the way up until max level and is going to spawn speed up that leveling time, that questing time pretty heavily. Now the main things I was looking for when creating a leveling build was movement speed increases because there is a lot of traveling in this game. And if you can travel faster, you're going to speed up your leveling time massively and just speed up the efficiency at what you can do pretty much everything in the game. Two is sustainability. So being able to continuously keep yourself healed up and not have to stop and let yourself heal up in between killing packs of enemies and number three is going to be burst damage now one of the most important things for this build is keeping your equipment load at light so that is over here you'll see this meter over here and if you're below 13 you'll stay in equipment load light now what this does is it will allow you to keep your dodge roll so if you go above light you get that little hop instead of the dodge roll now the reason this is so important is because with the dodge roll in the this game you can actually cancel the animation of the dodge roll to make yourself move faster so essentially with a normal roll if you roll at the end of that roll there will be a little stop that slows down your movement pretty heavily but if you sheath or unsheath your weapon while rolling that little stop at the end won't happen and this will increase your overall movement speed pretty heavily and you have to be in light armor to keep the dodge roll to allow that to happen i've went over the dodge glitch before it's pretty much as simple as i just mentioned if you go and try it a few times in game you'll realize how easy it is and you'll get pretty good at doing it perfectly pretty much every time now with this build our main weapon is going to be the hatchet and the secondary weapon is going to be a great axe so both of those main scale off of strength so for our attribute allocation i'm mainly going into the strength right now you can actually change this up and go a lot more constitution if you're dying a lot or if you want to be more tanky personally i'm going in the strength i got the first buff you get at 50 points in the strength then i'm going to start going into constitution and depending on how tanky you're feeling or if you're dying a lot or if you're having to heal more you can go more into constitution you can pretty much just feel that out when you're in combat if you feel like you're tanky enough you can just keep going into the strength to get more damage and the weapon builds are also incredibly easy to understand so first off the main weapon we're going to be using is the hatchet now this weapon is really good at burst damage hits very quickly but the main thing we're going to be using on the hatchet is berserk and i've gone over this before but at the baseline of berserk it gives you a damage buff and it lasts for 12 seconds now upgrading it is where all the power comes from so first off we get 20 percent increased movement speed while we're in berserk so that is massive for just running around the map traveling from place to place secondary we get berserking refresh that heals us for 30 percent of our maximum health over the duration of berserk it heals us every four seconds so that's a massive amount of healing. That's where the majority of our survivability comes from. And with this, you should be able to keep yourself alive very easily and not have to stop a lot to worry about your health. Then we also remove all crowd control when we use Berserk if you're CC'd. And then something else that's very useful for speeding up how quick you can kill enemies is uninterruptible Berserk. While in Berserk, your attacks are no longer uninterruptible and you can't be staggered. So essentially when AI are hitting you, when you have Berserk up, you won't be staggered staggered and stopped from using an attack so you'll be able to just burst through enemies super quickly not have to worry about dodging or blocking because you're going to be healing up with berserk and you're not going to be uninterruptible so i went all the way down that tree and then i also got a raging torrent and when I level up my weapon more, I'm probably going to go get Feral Rush and just start getting other damage increases throughout the passives. The main thing you're going to want is go all the way down the Berserk ability tree. And then our secondary weapon is going to be Great Axe. And as you guys can see, my hatchet's only level 7, my Great Axe is level 5. You don't need these weapons super high for this build to start coming together and increasing your leveling speed. So with the Great Axe, we're going to get all three of the abilities on the Reaper side for a lot of 
of burst because you can just use all three of your abilities on an enemy and usually an enemy at least while leveling is going to end up being dead at that point so getting at least all three abilities so getting all three abilities is going to help with that burst we're going reap we're going charge and then we're going execute and then past that i'll just be putting points into whatever is going to give me more damage i have keen edge it gives me critical damage increased by 10 percent and then i'll just keep upgrading my abilities getting more damage through the passives now something else for the great axe that makes the great axe so good is the charge ability now the charge ability charges you forward 10 meters very quickly and besides this just being another damaging ability this actually moves you very quickly so as you see in the footage when i'm moving around i'll essentially switch to my great axe do a charge do two dodge roll canceling animations and then i'll switch to my hatchet do my berserk to get my 20 percent movement speed and then stay in berserk for that increased movement speed the whole time switch back do another charge do more dodge roll cancels and this will massively increase the speed at which you're just moving around the map and you'll see that in the footage i'm constantly just switching between my different movement tools to get to where i'm going much faster than normal and that's pretty much all i want to go over for this leveling build this build is very good for leveling and will increase the rate at which you're able to level it's incredibly good for just following quests or following the main quest line because there is a lot of traveling in that and this build gives you some of the strongest movement abilities in the game and then you're able to quickly burst down enemies when you need to for those quests so subscribe if you want to see more new world or other mmo videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this leveling build and thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you. 